<laughs> What's up, everybody? I expected a quicker or a more, uh, you know, fade in kind of transition to happen right there. I must have hit the wrong button. Uh, but what's up, everybody? Phoenix Night Driver here. Um, I'm about to set up an appointment with the Lyft maintenance team to have some stuff done with my vehicle. Um, need an oil change, and supposedly I can get tires uh, taken care of there too. So uh, that's one of the things that I'm going to go ahead and do. So uh, I've never seen anybody go through this process before. It honestly seems really simple. So I feel like this video is going to. Be a quick video but i feel like you know maybe a walkthrough of it and and being able to see what the process is can help other people decide if they want to do that or if they want to keep going to you know jiffy lube or walmart or wherever you go to get your uh vehicle maintained and to get your oil changes all that kind of stuff uh but i figure since this is something that they tell us uh that is available to us uh that i would show the process for setting it up and then once I have it done, I'm gonna kind of go through that process. I'll do a separate video for that. And that probably won't be live because I can't do mobile live streaming until I have a thousand subscribers. Um, so I'll probably just record as much of that process as possible and upload that as a separate video. Speaking of getting to a thousand subscribers, uh, please don't forget, go ahead and hit like on this video. Uh, if you're watching me live, then you know, um, I don't know if you can like it when you're watching live, but you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and walk through the process. So uh, the very first thing that you gotta do, obviously you gotta log into your app and then you hit your picture in the upper left-hand corner and it gives you kind of just the menu. Uh, you've got your home, your feedback, da, 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 da. And you go down to where it says service. It's got a little wrench next to it you go ahead and tap that, and here's what's gonna show up right there. So you've got your vehicle support, vehicle service plus driver support, uh, and then here's just the stuff that they tell you about, you know, oh, this is what we can do. You can get fast, affordable, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and it says save on oil changes, brakes, tires, collision repair, and more. So like I said before, uh, I do need uh, some new tires, so I'm gonna see about that. Uh, and I do need to get an oil change, so I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully schedule uh, those two things. I don't need collision repair, thank goodness, uh, you know, knock on wood. Um, but those are the things that I'm gonna go ahead and try and set up an appointment for. Uh, I have no idea how long it's gonna take for them to work on it. I have no idea what the cost is. So I will make sure that when I do this, I'll document how much the cost is. I will let everybody know uh how lengthy the process is is this easy is it affordable like they say it is um but you know here's some other stuff boom 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 and obviously right down here you can ask some questions and um you know see where it goes from there uh and what's funny is i remember as i was thinking about doing this video that uh there was a question that i wanted to ask lyft while i was there and i don't remember what that question is so <laughs> Uh, maybe by the end of the video, I'll remember what the question is. Hopefully by the time I get there, I'll remember the question. There was something uh, very specific that I wanted to ask them about. Uh, and I don't remember what it is. But so let's go through the next step. We're gonna go ahead and hit set appointment. You know, just in case, there uh, shouldn't be anything. So there you go, it says uh, schedule appointment. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this here. Which car? I've only got one car that's registered with them, so I'll just tap that vehicle. And uh, let's see here. So you can see here that my options are, how can we help you? Maintenance, oil change, service, assessment, not sure what's wrong, et cetera. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and those are the options that come up when you hit the, you know, that previous button. So let's go ahead and, oh, and what it says here with the oil change, manufacturer recommended synthetic oil and filter change, $49.99 plus tax. Um, now I know at Jiffy Lube, the kind of oil that I typically use in my Prius uh, tends to be more uh, than, um, 49, I think it's like a 79 or 89.99. Um, so maybe this will be cheaper, I don't know. Um, 
Man, I feel like I'm really lagging here. If if somebody can make a comment and let me know if I'm lagging on the actual uh, video, I'm not sure what what that's all about. But anyway, uh, so the oil change, that's something that I need. Let's see if it'll also let me do service for anything other than routine maintenance. So uh, I'm just going to show you here something real quick that I can tap, uh, what are we on here? Okay, so I'm currently on service, so I can tap service, but it won't let me do both. So I tap the one above that oil change and it switches to that. Um, and the driver center option came up below that. So I'm not sure you know, if I can get both done at the same time. Um, I feel like the oil change is a little bit more pressing than the tires. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit oil change. And the only option underneath says driver center, come into one of our lift driver centers for your service. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. So right here, you see that it left, it left oil change highlighted and then service center. And then right down here, you can see it says choose date and time. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up there, uh, show you the map. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it looks like. Uh, it looks like there's only one service center in the Phoenix area uh, and it's that one at that address. So it looks like that's what I'll have to pick, but let me just make sure that my uh, date and time settings are what I want them to be. Uh, today is the 5th, which apparently that is an option. I honestly don't want to get mine done until uh, next week. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Monday. Saturday and Sunday are grayed out, so they are not open on the weekends. You can't get this services done on the weekends, which honestly, at least here in Phoenix, I imagine it's like this in most of the major markets. Uh, you don't want to be going and getting services done during that time anyways. Uh, it's much better for you um, to be driving and going out there and earning, you know, earning that money. So went ahead and hit Monday. There's no option for time. There is only the one service center. So I'm going to hit select on it. And this is what I got. So you can see the purple dot right there. You can't really read it on the screen, but that's set for Monday. The ninth is coming Monday. Uh, and then there's a bunch of times. It looks like they're all available um, down here at four. I know my finger's going behind that camera. Uh, down here at four o'clock uh, and up as early as, I believe that's nine o'clock. So let me go ahead and select one of these. So it is 9 a.m. all the way to as late as 4 p.m. Um, I gotta drop my daughter off at school early. So I figure while I'm out, I'll go ahead and get it done um, that early. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit 9 a.m. Uh, and then the next button popped up as an option. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. I don't think you need me to show you that. So, and then this is, this is what changed. So the only thing that changed is that this service center became highlighted or um, surrounded or bordered in purple and then confirm appointment. And that's it, that's all we got there. So it should be pretty simple. We'll hit confirm appointment. Creating appointment, loading, and then it gives me all my appointment details. So I'm gonna see, make sure there's nothing on here that's really, all right, so this is the confirmation screen. So appointment confirmed, what's to prepare. Uh, the top thing you probably can't read, but it says valid driver's license. Um, so you need to make sure you have your driver's license and then credit or debit card is the next option. So you need a way to pay for it and you need uh, a driver's license, obviously. Um, and then there's the appointment details, all the information that I need, the location, the time, the day, uh, what I'm doing, an oil change, and what that's done. So it's basically confirmation. Um, and you can kind of see way up at the top of my notifications, uh, you can see the text message. When I hit confirm uh, on this, I got a text message. Let's just make sure I'm assuming it's from Lyft telling me about my appointment. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double check that and it is a text message from Lyft. So they're double checking, they're sending you all the information that you need. Um, 
I'm going to also assume that probably Sunday or Monday early morning, I'll get a follow-up text message as a reminder, uh, but it's all the information. Um, and then there's actually a link here in the text message. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that link and see what it takes me to. It takes me to uh, my driver's account. So, and I'm not signed into it on my phone. Uh, I'm signed in only to the app, but I'm not signed into the uh, driver account on the internet there. Um, but I'm assuming it's gonna, you know, take me to the driver dashboard and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but I won't sign in on that. It's just to let you know that that's what it did. Um, there's nothing else really here. I can cancel the appointment and I can go back to dashboard. And I hit back to dashboard. There shouldn't be really anything else. Yep, that's it for me. All right, so that's really simple. That's all I have for today. Just wanted to kind of go over that. It's something that you know I'm wondering about. Uh, look for a future video. It'll probably most likely be pre-recorded. Um, I'm gonna try and get footage of the service center and maybe them working on it if they'll let me at least get like a wide shot or whatever. And then uh, while I'm there or just after I get everything done, uh, I'll let you know what happens. Um, I'm going to presume that I can't just go in and say, hey, by the way, in addition to this oil change, I need tires. Um, but I'm gonna ask, and if that's something that's possible, I'll let you know. So what, what you'll see in a future video is uh, how much did it actually cost me? How does that compare to uh, Walmart or Jiffy Lube? Um, how much time did it take? Was it quick? Was it, you know, was I waiting there a long time? Uh, what did I do while I waited? You know, was the experience pretty decent? Did they give me water? All that kind of stuff. And um, whatever it is I was just talking about. Oh, yeah. And then I'll ask if I can get the tires done. Uh, and if not, you know, what that process is like. So there you go. This is simple. I mean, it seemed like, probably seemed like it's really simple before you even clicked on this video. Um, but the reality is I don't, I don't know of a lot of people that have done this. I've literally never heard of anybody that's used it. Uh, I know that we're always very comfortable and uh, you know doing what we know and you know we don't like Lyft we don't like Uber uh, we don't like these companies because they're not giving us our fair share of, of pay they're not letting us set our rates I get all that we don't want to be giving them more money we don't want to be doing anything to help them uh, but I figure if this is something that is actually beneficial to us may as well take advantage of it it doesn't change the fact that you know really uh, Lyft is not giving us proper per mileage rates uh, and is still falling short of giving us per minute, uh, proper per minute rates. And it doesn't change the fact that Uber is failing to give us the proper per minute rates as well. Uh, and both platforms are not letting us set our own rates, which is a big problem. I get it. But if there's stuff that's beneficial to us, uh, we should take advantage of that. Uh, there's no reason not to. If it's, if it's the best option, go with the best option and you know continue to complain about the fact that they're not doing what they should. Uh, that's what I have to say about that. All right, so that's all there is to it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, like this video, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd like to see uh, in the future as far as you know, using these services or other videos, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'm just gonna kind of talk out loud while I go ahead and transition out. Thanks again. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button.